Hi friends, in this video, I will illustrate the cubic spline interpolation with one example. In the last video, we explained the cubic spline equations, the formulations of the cubic spline equation. Recurrence relations to find m values in cubic spline functions and condition for the natural cubic spline function. Here, the problem is determine the value of y of pi by 6 using the cubic spline approximation. We are given the following data 0, 0, pi by 4, 1 by root 2, pi by 2, 1, 3 pi by 4, 1 by root 2, and pi 0. So, here in this problem, we have total 5 points, 5 set of points, so n is equal to 4. And the spacing between each interval means difference between x values in each interval is pi by 4. And we know the natural spline conditions m0 is equal to m4 is equal to 0. So this is our general cubic spline function. So in this case, we have to find the value of y of pi by 6, means the value of y at x equal to pi by 6. Clearly, x by 6, pi by 6 lies in the interval 0 pi by 4, means our needed value lies in the interval the first interval. So we have to find S1 of x. So putting i is equal to 1 in this general equation, we get 1 by h1, x1 minus x whole cube by 6 and 0 x minus x0 whole cube by 6 m1, y0 minus h1 square by 6 m0 into x1 minus x plus y1 minus h1 square by 6 m0 into x minus x0. So in the cubic spline function, it contains m0 and m1. But fortunately, we already know the m0 value. It is set as 0 as the natural cubic spline condition. So we have to find out only m1 value. Also, this problem is with equally spaced x values. So we can use the simplified recurrence relation m i minus 1 plus 4 m i plus m i plus 1 equal to 6 by h square y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1 but i can be varied from 1 to n minus 1. That is, i equal to 1, 2, and 3. So when i equal to 1, the relation becomes this one. Putting i equal to 1 here. Putting i equal to 2 here, it becomes 
this one putting i equal to 3 here the relation becomes this one so now we will calculate the right hand side of the each recurrence relation for the first equation there is y2 y1 and y0 so here y2 is 1 y1 is 1 by root 2 and y0 is 0 so uh, the right hand side becomes this one and it's calculated as minus 4.028986. Similarly, for the second equation, y3, y2, and y1 is. The y3 is 1 by root 2, y2 is 1, and y1 is 1 by root 2. And this is calculated as minus 5.697847. And for the third equation, there is y4, y3, and y2. y4 is 0, y3 is 1 by root 2, and y2 is 1. So it is calculated as minus 4.028986. Now we have to solve the equations to know the m values. We can use different ways to solve the equation. One method is the Kramer's rule, the symbol method. Hope that everyone know the Kramer's rule. I have used the Python code for solving M values. For very lengthy data, solving the problem using Kramer's rule will be very complicated. So the Python code will help to solve the problem very simply using its NumPy module. So this is the code for the finding the M values, solving the equations. So here the NumPy module is imported. The Linal Submodule is separately imported. Then the coefficients of m values are read to an array and is reshaped to 3 by 3, means it is uh, made to a 3 by 3 matrix. So the first row is the coefficients of the first equations, 4, 1, the coefficient of M3 is 0 here, and here it is 1, 4, and 1. And here it is the coefficient of M1 is 0, and M2 is 1, and M3 is 4. Now the right hand side values are read to into another array Y. Now, just put solve x comma y. Solve is a command in Linology module. So we should import Linology separately after importing NumPy module. So this is the result produced in Python shell. So this corresponds to the M1, this corresponds to the M2, and this corresponds to the M3. So M1 is equal to minus 0.74414979, and M2 is equal to this one, and M3 is equal to this one. In our problem, we need only the M1 value. There are two M values in our S1 of X, M0 
and m1 m0 is already known it is zero so we found the m1 value 0.744149979 so our so now of x becomes this one now we will substitute the values of x0 y0 x1 y1 and x0 to find the s1 of pi by 6 we also put x equal to pi by 6 so this is calculated as 0 0.500930 the exact value of the result is 0.5 you can note note that this values correspond to the sine function sine of 0 is 0 sine of pi by 4 that is sine 30 So the sine 45 is 1 by root 2, and the sine 90 is 1, sine 135 is again 1 by root 2, and sine pi is 0. So this corresponds to the sine functions exactly. So we can calculate the exact value like sine pi by 6, that is sine 30 degree, that is 0.5. So this one is very, very near to the exact value. So okay, thank you for watching the video.